Right, hey everyone, to a let's play of The Convenience Store. It's a Japanese horror game. Um, as I understand it, you play as a student who has a, who has a job as a like clerk um, for the night shift in a convenience store. It's a horror game. I've never played it before. Never watched anything about it. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, let's see. It's time. I need to get ready for work. Movement, WASD, interact options. It looks a. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, this doesn't look very clean. Uh, Slept well. Oh, there's a. Sir. Okay. I really don't like this. <laughs> gonna be, gonna be honest with you. I hate these types of games. Change the clothes. Yeah, sure. Oh, what is this? Is this the way out? What's this? Oh, doors. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah, I, I do not do well with these types of games, so this is the kitchen. <laughs> Gotta bring a flashlight, right? Where's this? Pick up the flashlight, yes. Okay, so this is the way out, I would assume. Is this the balcony? It's dark also. What's this? Like a little chinchilla? Plushy? I really do not like the way this looks. It has a good atmosphere, not gonna lie. The game was like... Need to eat something. Change and grab a flashlight before I leave. Okay, so we changed. Grab the flashlight and now we... Oh, maybe the fridge. Wait, how do I, how do I eat? I have to turn on the TV. Do I eat on the bed? Do I, uh, do I eat on the toilet? <laughs> Or do I just bring it with me? I honestly... Oh, wait. Microwave? Oh, warm it up. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I was thinking I had to cook it, you know, to warm it up. But I guess you just had to, like, traditionally warm it up. So it's almost, it's almost midnight. Dude, working a night shift in a convenience store, I don't know if that's like a good idea. How long? How long does it? Okay, eat the bento, yes. Alright. So we ate the bento. And uh, I assume now we can go to work. I don't know if like opening any of the doors is going to have like any effect. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I just, you know, like, suddenly this sound. It's not that loud for you guys, I guess. It's just like a eerie background noise. This is really creepy. I have to go down here? Does it really look like this in Japan? I don't really know. 
Oh, we can sprint. Forgot about that. We have to go down here. I would assume that we have to go down, but apparently not, okay. Like, what are these little shacks? Are there, like, people living in this? Maybe I went the wrong way. Well, this is a this is supposed to be like a very small little horror game. It's not going to take that long. It's on the Steam store uh, if you guys want to check it out. bit bamboozled as to where I'm supposed to go, to be honest. Like, I would assume that I have to go down, like into that way. Just how do I get down? Wait, I tried going down here before. Oh, never mind. Also, it kind of looks like I'm like using a camera because I don't know, the view is just a little bit blurry, so it appears like some kind of VHS tape recording, you know? Gives me a bit of like Slenderman vibes. I'm, uh, I'm terrified of these types of games. Um, I just hope that nothing is, like, chasing me or something. Okay, so the eerie background noises are disappearing. Oh, and there's the convenience store. I think... Oh god, everything's so dark here. Okay, is there someone outside? There's someone sitting there. Who are you? You're creepy. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come here. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely perfectly normal. Some bring me food or you will receive eternal punishment. I mean, that's one way to get uh, food, I guess. Just, uh, not at all um, weird van just standing outside. The absolute and total absence of music is kind of, uh... Kind of adding to the atmosphere. It's a- it's- it makes it a bit eerie. Alright. So... Oh, okay. Oh god, you made it, huh? Oh no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off this bridge. Of the bridge you just crossed. Oh yeah, there was this one piece, that one part, like... Of a bridge that was falling. Oh, also we crossed the bridge. Okay, yeah. It was an old lady that said that she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Haha. <laughs> ha. Sorry. Yeah, okay. Uh, so what am I supposed to do now? Looks like a very normal convenience store. The shelf looks fine. Looks like summer expired. The shelf looks fine. The shelf looks fine. Okay. Just behind here. I open this. So there's like a store. Okay. I guess part of the game is going to be me like opening up the store. Okay, so there's like a trash can, I guess. I like trash cans. Oh, what's this? Construction. Ok, 
Okay, this also leads to the outside, though. Okay. Maybe it's gonna be some kind of, like, zombie defense. Like, again, I have no clue what this game is about. I've been drinking that recently. Highly recommended. Oh. Is this... Is this what I think it is? I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Yeah, everyone buys Lee magazines. Okay, toilet, bathroom. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Punch in. Uh, enter the counter, yes, I guess. Maybe this is like Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, I think some food are expired by the time you start your shift. Can you take them off the shelves for me? You're managing. Uh, punch in. Uh, uh, no. Use CCTV. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so maybe this is a bit like Five Nights at Freddy's. I know this is a horror game, definitely. Yeah, so we have like different cameras. So this is like inside the store. This is like the, um, the trash area. It's the entrance. Okay. Oh, can zoom? Oh, wait. Yes. Is he gonna go? Alright. So there's like... What's this? Like Japanese sweets? I guess. Okay, so... Take some food off the shelves. Oh, there's this... Okay, so car just stopped by. Take items off the shelf. Okay, someone entered. Just want to see if it's like a normal dude. Yeah, it looks like a normal dude. I guess that's the car of the manager. Trash expired food, yes. Oh, could I, have, could I have given the expired food to the dude that was outside? Like, there was a dude outside that was like, yo, give me food or eternal punishment is gonna be, like, coming down on you. Rabbi carrot juice, I've been drinking that, only that, highly recommended. Okay, so it's just some random dude. All right, first customer of the day, let's go. Thank you. Come again. So we're definitely playing a female. Okay, so we got the expired food. Uh, what are we gonna do other than that? Just use this easy TV? Is that it? Oh, I can zoom this one. I don't know, do we do anything else? I, I, I would just wait for people to come in, I guess. Oh, sounds like a car is coming. Oh, it's the van. Is it driving away? Is 
Is there something stuck? Thirteen bucks an hour shift. That's the reason why I'm here. How? Wait. Okay. Dot dot. Something about this poster. I feel attracted to it. Maybe because it's anime. Man, that door was weird. I have to say, it it has a really eerie um, atmosphere, especially since I don't know what I'm like actually looking for. Maybe there's more expired food that we have to take out to trigger like the next event. Sankyu's choice. Hey, I'll give it a try. Shelf looks fine. Looks like some are expired. Take items off the shelf. Trash expired food, yeah. It wouldn't do to give like expired food to the to the dude outside, right? Like that would be a bad choice, right? It's an ATM. Truck. This little thing is blocking me, really? Oh wait, I can't- Oh! So I couldn't even have given him... Um... The food. Because, uh, I can't step outside of the... Of the store. Alright. Oh, probably knew worse. Maybe. Yo, hey, what's up, dude? It's kinda late for a delivery, me a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated the system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Receive? Sure. Take it home? Take it home. Still on my shift, man. Okay, what the heck? Okay, so this ended my sh- Oh my god, for fuck's sake. What's that? Looks like a videotape. Uh, what do I have to do? Why was that on without... Huh? Oh god. Much closely? Why does it ask me like that?
is that? What is that all about? Okay. Got the flashlight. Is that like close to the garbage cans? Have to go. <gasps> First night? Oh, is the game now only starting? And before that was like kind of the tutorial thing? Wait, 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 wait. Just, just give me a second. I just want to find out how many nights there are. Because I'm a scaredy cat. Okay, so apparently there are four knights. Okay. I, I just assume that it's gonna be like some kind of like... Um, some kind of... Like, um, Slender Man kind of game, you know? Where you have to survive like four nights or something. Or like Five Nights at Freddy's. You know? I, I have the feeling this is... Is this darker than before? Because I feel like it's darker. Oh, good. I feel like this is much darker than... Definitely much more scared. Not gonna lie. Just like some kind of music. Okay, do they mean like this bridge? Like someone fell off this bridge? Or something? Okay. I actually kind of like how the convenience store is like a beacon of light. What's that kind of... What's that weird videotape, man? Okay, let's check in on the manager first. Hey, hey. So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor, and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you what? You thought it was some sort of poltergeist. I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. Yeah, thanks for uh, telling me, dude. Yeah, let me already check on the wires. I think anything else has changed. Do you know? I like the music. I like. I, I don't know why, but music in a game is calming. Is that a mouse? It looks like it's trashed. And this, I think, like, the videotape was somehow, like, recorded here or something. Like,. It looked like the the band things here. Okay, so the trash cans are like trashed. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's punch in. Would you please punch in. Yes. Okay, chill. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP, you manager. Wow. Yeah, let's let's punch in then. Alright, let's get rid of the rodents. Oh, he's already gone. Damn. 
I can't exit the premises of the store. <clears throat> Alright, let's take care of the rodents then. What was this? I hope there's no jump scare or anything while I'm like concentrated on finding the rats, you know? Okay, five. It's the sixth one. It's the last one. There's okay, someone entered the store. Where's the sixth one? I can't seem to find number six. Let's get back into the store for- Oh, there he is. Nice. Six out of six. Perfect. Employee of the month. Ten out of ten. Let's go. Alright. So, someone entered the store. Oh, there you are. <laughs> it's slow, huh? That's fine. Do I have anything else to do tonight? <laughs> Dude, she's like hyper slow. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't want to say anything, but how did she even get here? Just gonna go to the to the bathroom? Is that... Apparently, she drove a van. Though I don't really know how she was able to use the van. Maybe someone's sitting inside the van waiting for her. I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, I took care of the rats. Okay, she's in the bathroom. Let's use the CCTV. Oh, security? Let's see what kind of achievement that is. Use the CCTV five times, okay? Oh. A car. Okay. Uh, what do you need? Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five ki cans of beer and a pack of cigars? Hurry up. Okay, chill, dude. Five cans of beer. One sign. Go get it yourself. Oh, sassy. Okay, where's beer? So that's cigars. Where do I get beer? Five cans of beer, one pack of cigars. Or six cans of beer? Five. Okay, where's beer? Beer, 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 beer. Oh. Wait, do I have to, like, carry, like, one single bottle of beer? Oh my god, this is so stupid. What the fuck? Wait, how can I... Wait, do I already have it all? Just... Oh, hammer. Five cans of beer and a pack of cigar. Okay. Wait, how did I get that one beer? Do I have to be closer? Wait, it was this one. It wasn't a Yuhi. Oh. Oh my god. I really have to carry each one. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. 
so far, I mean, the atmosphere is that of a horror game, but so far, like, there's nothing really coming after me. I don't know if I should feel happy about that. Like, should I be happy that there's nothing yet? Also, where's the old lady? Is she still in the bathroom? I should check up on her. Honestly. Okay, here we go, number five. And here's number six. Good, no scan. Wow. Dude, do you want to do like my whole job, maybe? Thank you. Yeah, get the fuck out of my shop. God damn it. People can be so... Oh. I was about to like check on the old grandma because I didn't know if she was gonna come out or... <laughs> She's so slow, man. I mean, that's fine, right? I just hope she's not driving herself. Oh, are these like rice cakes? Like, uh, like Big Bao's? Oh, wait, she's waiting there. She's not moving. She may be waiting for me. Do you need something? Huh? huh? Where's Kenkun? You know where Kenkun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Oh god, okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. Is she gonna... Okay, wait, let's... Let's enter the counter. I hope this stops her. I actually hope this stops her. Okay, yeah, just get out. Just get out. What a weird old lady. I mean, probably dementia is hitting her. Like that, that's what I would assume. That's probably dementia or something. Alright, is there anything else I can do? It's probably gonna leave. Okay, let's let's get back onto the CCTV, I guess. Oh, so. Doris having a stroke again? Well, what am I supposed to do against it? There's nothing much I can do, right? Like, I can't... Can't leave the premises anyway. Do I just live with it? I mean, there's nothing much I can do. Or is it maybe gonna distract me so that someone can, like, jump scare me? Should I check the CCTV? Oh, there's a little kid standing. I have to search for the kid now. Oh, there's another. Wait, but he wasn't there before. Oh, I'm still using the flashlight all the time. <laughs> I didn't notice. <sighs> Was that little kid there? Did I just overlook him? 
Or is he only able to, like, am I only able to see him on the CCTV? Okay, does he have another package for me? Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable, the unstoppable trend of on ordering everything on, uh, online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up. Uh, okay. Oh, yes. Give package, yes, sure. Alright. Is that it for my shift? Is there anything else I can check? Because is there something coming or going? Maybe let's get back onto the CCTV. I thought that maybe the delivery guy would be like, oh, okay, no, okay. I thought that maybe there was a kid standing there or something. Doesn't really seem to be anything. Got that like weird old woman. Um, the super like rude dude. But the van's still standing there. Oh. Why can't the game just tell me to go home or something? Why does it have to be so weird? Get umbrella, yes please. Got the flashlight, yes. Okay, someone's knocking at the door. Open it, yeah. I'm scared. Watch closely, yes. Where's that? I don't get it. I didn't realize where that was. Huh. I really didn't see where that was. Maybe it's like a place where I wasn't yet. Oh god. Oh, I cannot close the door. Oh god, it's raining really hard. Like, I can't hear anything over the sound of the rain. Oh man. So this is a second night already, and there hasn't really been a jump scare yet, but I I have to say the atmosphere is really good because I think part of the charm is that I do not know if there's something like following me. And the thing is about like Japanese horror, at least like when it comes to to uh to like horror movies, it's it's not that subtle. It's it's not like it's not necessarily something like chasing you. Um, like for example in in the ring, you know, I don't know if you guys know the ring. 
but it's a Japanese horror movie and it's basically if you watch this videotape you're gonna die so maybe it's more like something like that I started watching a videotape now I'm gonna get like keep getting those videotapes and um, the store manager said something about the uh, like a woman falling down a bridge or something so maybe I have to solve the mystery um, like he made it sound like it was an accident maybe maybe it was a murder so maybe like f through the videotapes it's gonna show me um, th like who the killer is maybe but I really don't know where that last tape was I really don't I really didn't recognize that place you know And they wouldn't just place that random dude here if he didn't have anything to do with this. Oh, and the child that I was only able to see through the CCTV. Where's the store manager? I don't like the music today. I liked the music yesterday more. Oh, for fuck's sake. The rain is so loud. So probably I have to refill the shelves later, but let's uh, stamp in. Where's the store manager? <gasps> Boo. Fuck's sake. Dude. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Why? Why would you do that? Like... I would sue my store manager if he did something like that to me. Got you good, huh? <laughs> no, no you, you didn't. Okay, okay, fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. Okay, thanks, man. I'll get the hell out. What, someone's been sending you VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Wow, thanks, man. That's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. What can a videotape do to you? Yeah, as I explained, you know, uh, in the ring. Uh, some products are miss uh, missing on the shelves. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning, your manager. Okay. Punch in, yes. You know, for that, he should take over my shift. For being a dick like that, he should take over my shift. I don't like this music. Like, it's a perfect music for a horror story. Does this belong here? Is that me? There's something coming. Oh, these are the red ones and I only need the blue ones, I guess. What the fuck? Someone come in here? Restock? Yes. 
Wait, someone came in here. The door was locked. Am I stupid? Dude, I'm scared now. Yo, who are you? I'm Hamana. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. I hate to be working this slide, but he pays me well, you know? Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right on. Okay. I don't like this music and why was I locked in there? That was not normal. At all. Wait, 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 wait. That wasn't destroyed before. Those, that, like, that band, I checked on it just now. Before I started my shift, I went outside, I checked it. Am I gonna see him, like, getting killed on tape or something? Should I check on that? I don't know, man. Oh, this is getting creepy. I love the atmosphere of the game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I like this... Like... It's- it's- it's subtle. It's subtle. It's not like a monster barging in trying to kill you or something. It's more like... This dude- oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, I heard his footsteps, but still kind of like, got scared. Oh, for fuck's sake, the sound of the rain is so loud. What's this? After me like that, it would chill. We get back on behind the counter. Oops. Oh, that woman was scary as fuck. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of manager puts a girl on the midnight shift alone? So you have no choice. But at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. I'll be careful. Take it. Yeah, of course take it. Dude, it's a protection charm. <laughs> Unless it's a curse, because then I fucked up. But if it's really a protection charm, like, why not? And why do I have, like, this... God, this is getting like really creepy. Not gonna lie. Like, what is that kind of shack outside? Like, knowing, knowing like Asian folklore and Japanese horror, it might be that there's like that the woman, the ma like the manager, might be like a killer, and 
the woman that fell from the bridge is actually he killed that woman and maybe the the corpse of that woman is like in that shack that was outside but I couldn't enter could I What's that sound? Okay, I'm doing this because the game wants me to, probably. No, 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 no. Could you like scream or something? Oh my god. Never, never go towards the sound. There was someone here, 100%, 110%. I'm not gonna go outside there. Like, what the hell was that? I'm not... Leave, please. Can I please leave? Use the CCTV, yeah, please. Okay, this one's busted. to put the talisman Dude, I swear, like, stepping outside, the volume of the rain is, like, really scaring the shit out of me. Exercise the door.
mean I still have that, um... That thing, I don't know how you call it in English. I wouldn't even know how to call it in German. I'm not much of a handyman. You know what? I don't want to waste too much time, so I'm just gonna pull it. Uh, convenience... Store... Night to... Tool. I have no clue what to do. Like, I have to do something with the... I definitely have to do something with the... Uh, with the tool. It's on the ground. That one. But what exactly do I have to do? Is this night two or three? I think this is night two, right? Do I have to stock something back up? There's still something that I have to stock up. Doesn't look like it. Looks like everything's full anyway. Just gonna drop it there because, like, fuck off. Okay, maybe I have to go outside. Oh, wait, what's this? Snacks? Restocks. This looks better. Where do I have to put the last restock? I don't think there's anything else to restock. like behind the counter like this admittingly I think I'm a bit slow on what this game is trying to tell me to do the CCTV. Dude, this rain just gets me every time. The rain is so deafening loud. Oh, open the AC. Wait, why did he not do it? The key. Manager. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's looking at me. He's looking at me. What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck.
just happened? What the heck just happened? What the fuck? We're not gonna eat anything. Just gonna go to work. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Dude, I honestly don't know. And what did that number four mean? The flashlight. Can't open. Why not? I wasn't there before. Watch closely, okay. That's a shack. I should just stop. I'm so quiet because I'm actually like my brain is thinking so hard. Dude, these sounds are killing me, man. These like outside sounds, they're just they're just kind of loud or unexpected. I don't know. They it's that abrupt like you step outside and immediately it starts. Just kind of unnerving. Like, my brain is trying to figure out what is, what's happening. So, okay, the woman that destroyed the CCTV, like, that was a woman. But we saw a small boy on the CCTV as well. How do they hang together in the story? Like, they have to... Like, you wouldn't just throw them in, you know? Like, oh, they're there. Like, have fun. Like... They're, they're there to scare you. Like, a good story has to, like, give hints as to, hey, she was, like, maybe she was killed and he was her son or something like that. They wouldn't just leave me with, like, oh, yeah, they're there to scare you, nothing else. Let's just run, honestly. Let's just run. What about the dude that was there on his... On the first night? Okay, if the... If the manager is gonna pull some... Jump scare crap on me... I'm gonna fucking rage quit. Okay, why is this door open? Did... I want to take over the shifter. Let's go. It's clear. Dude, if he's gonna pull some bullshit like jump scare crap, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna rage quit. I'm gonna I'm so gonna rage quit. Camera is back to normal. But I can't step. What time is it? Oh 
What the fuck? What the fuck is this? my uh Look at him do another round. He starts on the utmost right. At least for me. That's where he starts. He looks on the right. And that's middle screen, I think. Right middle screen. Utmost, like far corner, right middle screen. Looks at the right at one of the first screens. Okay. Right at most far middle screen. It's like the second screen or something. Also on the right. And then this one is the last one. Okay. Let's see if I can recreate this. I guess I have to look at the same things he. Oh my god, I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't like this at all.
No. No. Did I fail? Probably failed. Okay. He's definitely looking at that, like, second to last one. That one that is alone. Here he looks at uh, which one does he look at? And the one at the far top? And here like down bottom. Okay. Top, down, bottom, down, bottom. Up top, down, bottom, down, bottom. Up top, down, bottom, down, bottom. Up top, down, bottom, down, bottom, top. Up top, down, bottom, bottom, top. Okay. At least that's what I think it is. Up top. Look on the left or the right side. Top, down, bottom. Down, bottom. Failed two times. Instead of one doo doo, it was two doo 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 doo. There was the number four on the screen from the previous night, so it might be that I'm only allowed to fail. F okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me draw it. Let me draw it. Let me draw it down. You know what? I'm gonna draw it down. Actually, gonna draw it down because I'm I I'm so bad, man. <coughs> so there are four aisles and one, two, three, four, five shelves. If I'm not mistaken, All right? like one two three four five shells yeah one two three four five shells okay. all right so where's the little boy at okay. oh, i don't want to fuck this up I figured it out. So with my back to the top shelf, okay, I think this one was safe. one
Did I do it? Wait, I can't use the CCTV anymore. Fortnite. Oh god, okay, Fortnite. Send it off to someone else. Or look at it. <clears throat> I think this is some kind of the ring thing where you, like, when you watch it to the end, you're gonna die. We came so far. Let's watch it all. Mm, let's watch it all. Wait, is it gonna save? Can I save the game? Oh my god, I can actually turn off the camera effect. Oh, wait. Wait. Send it off to someone else, throw away, watch it. I, I actually want to try every three of them. But I can't seem to say- Oh my god, I can turn off- Oh my god, sure. Oh, can I just go? Okay. Oh my god, that- Like, the camera effect adds so much to the atmosphere. Like, 10 out of 10. Okay, let's watch it. I hope it saves. Sure. Wait, that's my apartment. Jump scare? Jump scare? Game by Chiller's Art, okay. But, like, can I say, if you're interested in supporting Patreon.com Chiller's Art, Chiller's Art supporters, cameos, Austin Lee, as Austin Lee Magazine, uh, as Cup Raymond Ramen Label, as Robbie Carrot Juice, as Poster on the Window, 
as restroom poster. Additional highlight supporters, Sima Mura Elf. A big thank you to all our Patreon supporters, Austin Lee. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, like, I, I, sorry, I can't read, like, Japanese. Simamura Elf, Sixation, Clayton Person, Michelle Tchaikovsky, Chrism, Ollie, Savashi, Saranami, Japanese, 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 Japanese. If you're interested in support, oh, yeah, sorry, you already said that, man. Um, <clears throat> good game, good game. But I, I want to see the other two, like, options. I want to see the other two options without having to replay everything. Like, is that an option? Can I, like, can I just replay it without, like, just a choice? But the atmosphere is good. The atmosphere is good. Like, I was genuinely spooked. Is there going to be a jump scare in the end? Are you going to play me like that? Let's see. I'm going to watch a no commentary. Uh, like. End. Okay. Thank you for nothing. Because I just want to see the other endings. You know? Okay, so... Watch the tape or try to get rid of it. So what? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so this is what happens when you throw it away. Okay. Looks kind of like, like after when we wash the tape. I, I can't move. Okay, so it's basically the same ending we get, like, as we watch. And this is the ending when we send it off to someone else. Okay, yes. Are you sure? Yes. I was sink sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span of time. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me said there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September 14th, 
The man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it was said, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he had complained to several colleagues and on the day of the incident it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I had experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hosoe, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where it was found, Mr. Husser said there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he found there he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could, because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible, so as to not look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down for a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I saw a child's voice. There, I saw the woman. So that's it. All right, so that's the convenience store uh, and all of the endings as of version 1.03. It was a good game. It had a great atmosphere. I think if it was like a full-fledged like game with like a publisher and stuff like that, they would have made that like background story that we read after the sending away um, ending uh, and it would have been fleshed out. Maybe maybe the um maybe the target of the curse was the manager at in the first place maybe we were never maybe that manager that harassed that man into like the murder suicide was our manager because he kind of harassed us as well he was like paying, playing pranks on us um like leaving like um like the um the work that he didn't want to do like restocking and like the rats um behind the store he left that all for us and maybe he was the the person that actually killed um killed or drove that family into like mass suicide, uh, murder suicide uh, it might, it might, it's just a speculation. At the end of the day, it might also just be that the convenience store was built on the property of that family's house, and that's why the convenience store was, um, uh, like haunted. I think you could have made like more story like outside of the convenience store that then investigated into like the old place since since we transported in like dimensions because like the nail dimension where the child was walking from tv screen to tv screen that's also a thing that i would like to have explained like why tvs why was that child looking at tvs why was it uh why does it only appear in front of a cctv and stuff like that is it part is it maybe part of like japanese folklore i don't know that much about japanese like um 
ghost stories, but I think I heard something to the amount of ghosts are only visible through the camera. Like you can't see them with your own eyes, but you can see them if you're using a camera or a computer and stuff like that. Uh, I think I heard something about that. All in all, a good game. Um, thank you guys so much for watching me play the convenience store. Um, and if you guys would like, feel free to leave a subscribe. Um, also, maybe a comment on which game I should try next. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, and see you guys next time.